Well, right now, I know a lot of us are still recovering from Hurricane Barrel, but while we do that, repair fences, repair damage to our homes, it's important that we remember we're still in hurricane season. It doesn't end until November. So this morning we're talking about which tools you should have on hand to protect your family and stay informed. I'm talking with science moms, Joellen Russell. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. I'm so glad to be here and to share five tools that any family could use to keep themselves safer during uh, a big event. We, yeah. we all know that they're getting bigger and potentially more. And of course we know there's an MJO propagating across the Pacific right now. Yeah. So you never know, 10 days or so could be something big. Yeah. So, well, before you start, though, what is Science Moms? Who are you? How do you have this information? We're a nonpartisan <laughs> group of moms who are also scientists. Oh. And uh, so we have a day job, climate uh -huh. scientists, et cetera. Yeah. I'm an oceanographer and climate modeler. And uh, we just want to get the word out to other moms about how to keep their family safe, especially as things are heating up and the weather's becoming big and unstable. And we are in hurricane season. Yeah. And uh, so we came up with five things that um, people should consider when they're trying to get ready and prepare for a potential hurricane or impact or your power going out because of bad wind. We've all had that happen. <laughs> because, the, because the wind is blowing, right. Um, so, I mean, these are things that tell, tell us about them. I mean, these so are not So two of them are apps on your phone. One is the NOAA Weather Radar Live app, which I love. I use it all the time because I, when there are lightning strikes, the kids' swim team practices are canceled. Oh, uh -huh. It's silly, but it also will help you track through a storm and after. And of course, there's Zello, which turns your phone into a walkie-talkie in case the power goes down or there's oh. other disruptions. It can help you keep in touch with both rescuers as well as with uh, other family members. So very important, two apps. And then a solar battery charger uh -huh. so that you can use your phone for those lovely apps. Yeah. We've all had the power go out and then been like arguing over who gets to charge their phone or the yeah. kids' iPads or whatever, trying to keep them entertained. Um, and of course, you can even scale up. Some people are number four. It's not something that everybody is going to want to do, but a, a house battery is mm -hmm. a big battery, kind of like a generator, except you basically can charge it off your regular juice. And then if things go badly as they uh -huh tend to go, you can, uh, it'll basically flip on and you won't lose your fridge full of food. Wait, are we talking, is this solar? What do you mean a house No, battery? this is an actual battery for your house, like a generator, except okay. it's just storing charge. A lot of people with solar have these, uh -huh. uh, but you know, you can buy them just for your regular old house or apartment. No, I do Yeah, not. Tesla sells a power wall. They're the kind of primo expensive ones, but yeah. there are cheaper ones too. And it will just automatically kick on if your house goes without power. And then I'm, I'm sure depending on the size of the battery you buy exactly. would be how much it can how power. Much it can power and for how long, et cetera. But imagine not losing all the food in your fridge next time. Right. Or you know, at least you could wait four days before you lose it. No, I'm oh, yeah. not, don't mean to <laughs> They should be those. able to eat it all. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that is great. So obviously electrician, we'd need to turn to electricians yep, and that's look for right. somebody to put exactly. that. Exactly. But so apps first, then little things like solar chargers, maybe uh -huh. big things like the power wall. And then the last one is battery powered fans. Most people don't think about it. Mm -hmm. But especially if you got little kids at home, you know, right. science moms, where this is, you know, they're more vulnerable to heat than we are. Yeah. So if you can make sure, I don't know about you, but I used to hang one of those little buried power ones off the crib or off the stroller, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, when you're going out. Just yeah. making sure that everybody may, remembers that older folks and younger little ones mm -hmm. are more vulnerable to heat. So uh, battery powered fans can help you through, uh, you know, a, a you know, the couple of days it might be till you get your power back. Right, there are a lot of those really good ones now that you can buy with the lithium batteries, you keep all those charged. We got this charger under 20 bucks on Amazon uh -huh. and I was supposed to bring you a fan. <laughs> well, we know what it looks like, it. it's all right. <laughs> under 20 on Amazon, yeah. it's small things that might make all the difference in keeping your family safe I mean, those during are, an emergency. Right, good ideas and we feel like we learn every time we have a big storm like this, like oh, I wish I had had that or I wish I had thought of that. Real quick before we go, tell me again about the app and sort of why you're looking say in the middle of a storm why are you looking at that or maybe when one is on the way as opposed to you know, well, a couple app. of like, things. One, you can stay up to date with alerts. It's not just the hurricane and the track, which you might want to be following, or how soon it's safe to get back out of your house, et cetera, uh -huh. and when we're all sheltering. Uh, so it's uh, it can really help with precision forecasts and also knowing exactly. I personally use it because of the lightning data almost daily in the summer when I'm trying to worry about whether my kids should be in the pool or not. Yeah. Um, because the cancel their, their practice will be canceled if it's five miles away, but 
you know, six miles away and they're still on. Yeah, <laughs> the very good information. I appreciate it, Joel, and thank you so much for coming in and sharing. Happy to be here, thank you. We'll put this information for you on clicktohouston.com so we can remember those apps. And you can find more hurricane information also when you go to clicktohouston.com. Every year, our weather team creates a hurricane and flood survival guide. So we help you identify the safest room in your home, the do's and don'ts during flooding, and so much more. You can find a copy by going to clicktohouston.com and searching Hurricane Guide.